Muslim Ibn Aqil was the cousin of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. He was the son of Aqil Ibn Abu Talib, peace be upon him, who was the real brother of Imam Ali, peace be upon him. He was known to being a famous warrior, and he had married Ruqayya, the daughter of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, who is Imam Hussein's sister from another mother. It is also narrated that he had four children. Abdullah, aged about 15 years, Muhammad, who was about 10 years old, Ibrahim, who was 8, and young Ruqayya, who was just 5 or 6. All these children had travelled with their parents and were in Mecca. Meanwhile, Imam Hussein, peace be upon him's caravan, had left Medina on the 28th of Rajab 60 AH and had reached Mecca on the 4th of Sha'ban. Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, had not yet made up his mind on where to go. For the time being, he decided to stay in Mecca until the last month of Dhul Hijjah and perform the pilgrimage. When Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, received so many petitions and messages from Kufa, he decided to send his cousin, Muslim Ibn Aqil, peace be upon him, as his emissary to Kufa to study the situation there and report to the matters. Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, had asked Muslim to proceed to Kufa to ascertain the veracity of the thousands of letters written by the people of Kufa as he was one of the most trusted people to Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, and reached it with some difficulty. He stayed within the house of the great warrior, Al-Mukhtar, son of Abu Ubaidah al thaqafi He wrote a letter to the people of Kufa and gave it to Muslim, peace be upon him. And in this letter, Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, said, I am sending my cousin and one of the most trusted ones from my family, Muslim Ibn Aqil, to report to me about your affairs. If his report agrees with what you have written, I will soon meet with you. You must be clear of the fact that the Imam is the one who follows the Book of Allah only and serves Allah in all matters and affairs with justice, honesty and truth and submits to the command of Allah. Muslim wrote to Imam Hussein peace be upon him about the warm welcome and the oaths of allegiance he received from most of the residents of Kufa. Muslim wrote confirming the need for Imam Hussein peace be upon him to come to Kufa for religious guidance of the Ummah. He sent the letters through Abis bin Shabib al-Shakiri and Qais bin Mushir al-Sa'adawi and others. The example of this honorable companion of Imam Hussein, Muslim ibn Aqil, is an example that brings back to life so many noble values that we are so much in need of their remembrance and their application in today's life. Muslim ibn Aqil put himself forward to answer the call of his Imam when it was very obvious that the Imam al Hussein left Medina with few companions compared to the Muslim Ummah and compared to the position of Imam al Hussein and left Mecca on the eighth day of the Hijjah and the, just before the peak of the Hajj season. Yet you would expect, you know, from, for the position of Imam al Hussein that you know the whole of the Hajjij would leave their Hajj and follow. The member of Ahlul Bayt in which the Prophet has said, in Nitarikum Fikum I'm going to leave you two things that would protect your religion, the book and this man. Despite all this, Imam Al Hussein left with a small number of people. Muslim Naqil was with him. He knew that his Imam wouldn't have, you know, is not going to get the support that he needs, the support that he deserves. Despite this, he was so submissive and so obedient to his Imam that he accepted the duty, the role to be the messenger and the first to enter Kufa to prepare the people for the coming of Imam Hussein. 
the courage of Muslim, the obedience of Muslim, how submissive he was to his Imam, really puts everyone, every one of us into, into a, 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 a position in which you think, if my Imam would trust me and trust me with such a mission that I've heard the Prophet saying that your Imam al Hussein will be killed and obviously if your Imam will be killed then you as well will meet the same end. If I know that my end will be death, will be martyrdom, would I still follow and obey my Imam to the same extent? I think if we want people to remind us of the need to be at such caliber, it would be Muslim al -Aqil. Do you know Muslim bin Aqil? Yes, Muslim bin Aqil was the representative of Imam al Hussein. He was the son of Aqil, who is the brother of Imam Hussein. And he is the one that was sent to Kufa as a representative of Imam al Hussein to acknowledge and meet those who sent letters to Imam al Hussein to come to Kufa so that they play, uh, pay allegiance to him. Uh, Muslim bin Aqil was one of the most uh, respected uh, companions of Imam at the time. And when he went to uh, Kufa, he was met with, from thousands of the companions of Imam al Hussein who called on to him. However, as history says, uh, and in a famous, uh, in a famous hadith, uh, our hearts are with you, but our swords are against you. Ubaidullah bin Ziyad, who was the governor of Kufa at the time, was able to scare those, uh, those men in Kufa. And uh, history tells us that in prayer, when he finished, uh, leading the prayer Muslim al Aqil, Maghrib and Isha, he turned around to see that everyone had fled and in the end he was killed in Kufa and he was basically another representative of the struggle and the sacrifice of Karbala and the sacrifice of Imam Hussein and his companions. Muslim al Aqil was the cousin of uh, Imam Hussein Salam al He was sent as a messenger by the Imam to the people of Kufa after he received 30,000 letters or signatures saying that we ask you, O grandson of the Prophet, to come to us in Kufa so that we may follow you. We are in need of your guidance. The Imam decided to send out a messenger because he had previously lived in Kufa. He had seen, unfortunately, that the environment sometimes wasn't uh, suitable for leadership, that uh, when Amir al-Mu'mineen was uh, the Khalifa at the time, when he was the leader of the time, uh, the people of Kufa sometimes weren't ready to follow all the commandments uh, of Amir al-Mu'mineen. So Imam Hussein said to them that I will send out uh, the messenger from my family and he will report to me whether yes, it is right for me to come to Kufa or not. And so Muslim was given this, this, this is a difficult task, it wasn't an easy thing to do. Um, and he had to traverse across the desert and he almost died of thirst getting across the desert towards uh, Basra and towards Kufa. So when he finally entered Kufa and he began to speak to the people and realized, yes, they were faithful and, and truthful, he wrote a letter to Imam Hussein saying, yes, I've come to the people of Kufa, I've seen them, and yes, they are truthful, and you should come and join us in, in, in Kufa. Uh, at the same time, unfortunately, the government of Yazid found out that Muslim was in, in Kufa and they began to send out spies and they began to send some of the, um, the harshest uh, government officials that they had to deal with, with with this presence of Muslim and one of them was Ubaidullah bin Ziyad uh, he was the governor of Basra, he was sent to Kufa to deal with a Muslim ibn Aqeel and anyone who supported Muslim, anyone who supported Imam Hussein was either imprisoned or chased out or killed and we see that Muslim was one of the people that suffered this fate he was taken uh, as prisoner after a, a battle in the streets um, and he, a, a trap was set for him and he was taken and he was told you must curse Imam Hussein and he refused he said, no, Imam Hussein is my leader, and if you're going to kill me, at least let, let me face towards Medina so that I can give my salam to the Imam Hussein. So up until the last minute, he was very clear that he was uh, a follower of Imam Hussein, that he was there to uh, lead people to follow Imam Hussein, and that his mission was never going to be changed, even though he was threatened with death, his family, his friends, the people of Kufa were being affected, but he was there to be uh, clear about what his mission was and that was to show people that Imam Hussein is on the path of right if you're going to invite him in Kufa you must be ready to die for him as I am and unfortunately we, we read the stories of uh, how the uh, official at the time Abu Yadullah bin Ziyad dealt with him the, the terrible words that he used with him the manner in which he had him killed and his body thrown over the rooftops and carried through the streets 
we see that uh, alhamdulillah the, the person of Muslim al-Aqil was not affected by death he's still alive today we hear about him we hear about his mission to Kufa we hear about what he said we, were, we hear how he, heroic and brave he was in standing up to someone like Abu ibn Ziyad who was, who was terrifying the people of Kufa so today when we look at Muslim we can look at somebody who uh, acts on behalf of the Imam and we can say actually we want to be someone like this that we want to be messengers for the Imam as well the living 12th Imam that we want to be messengers of Imam Hussein we want to act as if we are Muslim al-Aqil sent to do a mission go to cities go to different countries, go to different lands and act as if we are Muslim and to preach the message of Imam Hussein Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Do you know Muslim bin Aqil? Yes, he was the messenger for Imam Hussein Alaihi Wasallam, the son of Aqil, who was the brother of uh, Ja'far al-Tayyar, who was also the brother of Imam Ali Alaihi Wasallam and uh, he was the first martyr before this tragedy all began uh, with regards to Karbala. Muslim Naqeel, first and foremost, he came from a lineage which was close to Amir al-Mu'mineen. He was the cousin of Imam al Hussein. His father Aqeel was the brother of our holy, our holy Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib salawatullah wa salamu alayhi. And his life, he was sincere. He was one of the chosen ones in the sense that Imam al Hussein sent Muslim ibn Aqeen as his ambassador, as his Safir. Hence, one of the titles of Muslim Naqeel is Safir al Hussein, the ambassador of Imam al Hussein. In the world today, when we have ambassadors, when we have those who are sufara or nuwab, they act and represent their leader, their government, or those who chose them. So when Imam al Hussein chooses from all of the people, from all of the companions, Muslim ibn Aqil, he chooses him as his representative, one who speaks on his behalf, one who speaks those words of truth, one who truly sends the message of Islam to the people of Kufa. One, when people see the actions of Muslim Naqeel, they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless Imam al Hussein. And they truly understand what a great leader Imam al Hussein was when they see the actions of, and the thoughts of, and the words of, and the teachings of Muslim Naqeel. Muslim Naqeel, who was sent by Imam al Hussein to Kufa, at first the people of Kufa gave their allegiance to him in their numbers and then many of those people the sincere ones they were imprisoned they were tortured and those who were with Muslim Naqi after a very short while of giving allegiance to him were few and few in number And Muslim Naqeel, who was welcomed by many after a very short while, was the Gharib, the stranger of Kufa, such that he would be moving from one house to another. And he would be looking for one house to provide him with just some water, just some water. A representative of Imam al Hussein, a representative of the Imam of his time, is knocking on the door of the people of Kufa. And only one noble lady, 
she would not just provide him with water, but she would welcome him. This lady by the name of Tawa. She would welcome him. And she would offer her residence for him to pray. But shortly, Muslim Naqil was captured and they tortured Muslim Naqil. Not only they killed Muslim Naqil, but they dragged his body through the alleyways in Kufa. And it was one of the most difficult moments for Imam al Hussein to receive the message of the tragic martyrdom. And if we were to say that the companions who were martyred with Imam al Hussein, the first and foremost was Muslim Naqeen, who, not, who did not pass away and was not a shaheed of Imam al Hussein in Muharram. Rather, nearly a month, nearly a month before Ashura, on the day of Arafah, on those days of Arafah, on those days of Hajj, the ninth of the Hijjah, according to the narrations, Muslim Naqi became a initial, the first martyr first shaheed of Karbala, if we were to think of the, those who were with Imam al Hussein, or those who represented the message of Imam al Hussein, And he had two sons, those two noble sons, who stayed on the path of their father and the message of Imam al Hussein. who shortly after the martyrdom of their father, they also became the first ones who became also shaheed, they were also martyred in the month of the Hijjah.